Hello everybody, Caventia here, but you can call me Cav. I'm here in the Mirai Fury LX, the new racing ship, and we're at the Snake Pit about to do some laps. So come on and join me and I'll give you my first impressions. Let's get into it. So we're starting off our journey at the beautiful Port Tressler here above New Babbage. We're going to grab ourselves our Carrick and head over to my favourite race course. Vehicle select. Your vehicle has been delivered to the Polar Fleet. That's feeling kind of snappy, actually. I've got a new marker. See a little marker? That's new. Let's work out where we're going. Here. Oh, there's a good chance that we might be on the sunny side of the planet. That would be very nice. Come on, sunny side. Looks like it. Whoop, whoop. Warning. You're blocking an active flight bay. You might be wondering why bring the Carrick. It seems a little overkill for racing. The main reason is one, you can park it nice and close to the snake pit, about nine clicks away, and two, you can park it right next to the Platinum Bay where you can spawn a ship. So as long as you remember to set your spawn over here at the panel or the med bed, then no matter how many times you crash or pop, you can just hop out the side hatch and grab a new ship. And this is what we've been waiting for. Come on, my new toy, where you go? There. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit PB 01, look at him bouncing around there. That's mine, that is, for now. I'm quite excited to fly this thing. Hello. Hey! Okay. Whew, okay. Oh, okay. She's, uh, wow, those rolls. Super nippy. Oh, and you can strafe real good, too. All right. So top speed, like. Ooh, pretty low top speed. That's fine. Can I not remember how to uh, open up this ship? Wings deployed right there. wings. Hey, That's better. Oh, it's pulling some serious G's. Okay. Whew. Okay, let's line up for the start. Without further ado, let's try out the uh, Mirai Fury LX for the first time. I'm a little bit, a little scared, a little scared. Um, I can't really remember this course, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go! Okay, yeah, it's pretty fast, pretty fast around the first bit. Oh, we've got to be down a bit more. Let's boost, try and correct that. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a little bit hairy. Okay, I'm not. Oh, 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 oh. No, don't blow yourself up already. No, 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 no. I feel like I'm fully intact. Let's try that again, shall we? Hey, yeah. Number seven. Straighten up. Let's go. Nah, nah, nah. Self destruct time. So that was uh, attempt number one. Um, didn't exactly go according to plan and uh, uh, hopefully the next run goes a little bit better and I guess we get to see what the respawn time is on this vehicle so yeah for science for science now I am by no means the best racer so me exploding there isn't necessarily a reflection on how good the ship is more of a reflection of how bad of a racer i am but let's check what the claim time is on this your 
Oh, instant for 16 seconds. That's actually amazing. Um, I guess while we're waiting for it, we'll order a comparison. Uh, let's get the Merlin here as well. Just so we can see how well I can race in a different type of ship too. Um, but obviously the main ship of the episode is the LX and you know that is a really really quick respawn time so that's kind of cool. Hello Boingy ship let's go. Looks good. Hey! Okay and back to the track. Oh and uh, let's not forget to retract landing gear deploy the wings oh that's cool that is cool the roll speed on this is just nuts like your ability to kind of counter roll oh it does kind of hang there for a little bit i guess because of how fast it's rolling in the first place boop, 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 boop. right oh it kind of oh that's like is that a camera thing? Like cinematic camera making it like pan to one side? Mm, don't know how I feel about that. Good job I race in first person. We made it to like corner six last time. We, we can definitely do better this time. Try a bit more rolling and pitching. Two, one, let's go. No false starts here. Oh, we're still good, we're still good, we're still good, we're still good. Better roll back. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to pull up too high. Oh, 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 oh. Cut that a little bit fine. I am not doing very well here at controlling this beastie. Oh, boost down. I could have taken the little gap there probably quite easily. A bit more speed on. A bit more confidence. Taken. Okay, I did that wide so I can take this one a little bit shorter, right? Hop. Okay. Get some speed up. Boost around this corner. Get your boost speed. Don't know which way we're going. We're rolling this way. Oh, 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 oh. Bit square meat. And this is the finish line. Boom! How did we do? Platinum finish! Are you kidding me? My first complete course, and it was a mess, was a platinum finish. I'm not entirely sure how I managed that. But I'll take it. Even if you're not a very good racer like me, then this ship can help you get platinums fairly easily. I mean, this is literally the first time I completed this course on this patch. I have flown this course a few times before, I quite enjoy this course, it's nice for respawn, but the fact that I managed to get a platinum first time on this course, yeah, I think that the Mirai Fury LX is a pretty good addition to your racing fleet. Let's give the course another quick, another quick go. And this is me flying coupled, not decoupled. I'm sure I could be faster decoupled, I'm just not very good at decoupled, so. One, two, and pull up. Let's pull up here. Oh, 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 oh. I pulled up too soon. Okay. Yeah, I'm not taking these corners as fast as I probably could. I screwed all of that up, I feel like. Ooh. Okay, you have quite a bit of time to correct yourself in this ship. Like, if you mess up your alignment a little bit, it feels like you've got all the time in the world to, um, to fix those alignments and things, so that's nice. Oh, which way are we going? We're going this way. <laughs> you see? It's like, oh, I'm not sure where I'm going, but I still get an opportunity to, to fix that. Whoops. That was an unorthodox line right there. <laughs> and that's the finish. I felt, I felt short. I felt like I really screwed up like corner one or two, but another platinum, I mean, can't complain. So it was a 101 and then I shaved like ugh, half a second off. And this time I really screwed up section two. So there's definitely room for improvement. 
um, all over here. Oops, 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 oops. We good, we fixed it. You see? That's you correct, even when you make big screw ups like me. Whoop. Whoa, I'm very surprised I managed to correct that. It felt really good. Whoa, I don't know where I'm going. I'm going sideways, I'm very sideways, that's fine. Whoa. I'm all over the place. small too, you can fit through little gaps, which is kind of nice. That felt faster. There we go, 59 seconds, not bad, not bad. Oh, and I just realized, I don't think I even have my power triangle fully set to boost. <laughs> okay. Wow, that was without the power triangle set to boost. Now, I think it's only fair to give it a comparison against another small lightweight ship. So I'm just gonna do a back-to-back. -back. Um, I blew up a few times in the Mirai and I wasn't as familiar with the track. And so I've had a bit of practice on the track and now we're gonna give it a go in the P-52 Merlin. Just so you get an A-B comparison for these ships. This already feels like it has a much higher top speed in Atmo but it feels like acceleration might be a little slower as well. I have more experience flying this ship. I'm gonna go full boost on this one. I think it'll need it, just to, uh, to get similar time. My race in line. Three, two, one, let's go. That's a good start. Whoop. Oh, this feels... Oh, 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 oh. Well, I haven't popped yet. I feel more controlled in this. Maybe it's the fact that it doesn't, like... Ooh. Maybe the fact I control the rolls a bit better. I lost the track. I lost the track. Oh, I can I can hit something in this. That, that's different. I'm confused. I don't think this one counts. I think we'll have to do one again. finish was a bit stronger hard to tell um i mean we had full boost on this one didn't have full boost on the other one i would have crashed if i didn't have full boost on this one so i think that the mirai fury lx definitely has more in the way of boost capability i had boost when i needed it more in the other ship i know it's in the dark now i know it's not 100 percent fair but let's try I tell you what, to make it more fair, I need to go in cheaty mode. There we go, cheaty mode. Make it more fair. Okay. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Whoop. That was a terrible line. <laughs> but we made it. We made it. And it's okay, still counting us. Okay, let's pick up speed here. A little bit low there. We're okay. 
Bite in the back. We're good. Rolling back. Ooh. Not a great line there, but we've got boost, so we'll make up for it a little bit. Should have probably taken this a little bit wider. And boost, 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 boost. Okay. One minute, platinum finish. Did pretty well there. Now you could argue that I'm learning the course more. You could argue that I have raced in this ship, say, 50 times, where I've raced in the Mirai LX, like, four? Five, with two of which exploded. Um, but either way, I think it's a fair comparison. Let's have a look at the times. We managed a little over a minute um, after some practice in a ship I know, uh, after a couple of runs. And in this one, we managed a little over a minute in a ship that I'd never flown before um, in a couple of runs. And then very quickly got under the minute mark, uh, beating platinum time by a good four seconds, something like that, four or five seconds. So in final conclusions, for now, I would still probably recommend the P-52 Merlin as a great getting started racing ship. Coming from somebody who's not the greatest racer, I feel like this ship is quite forgiving. It's really maneuverable, and even if you kind of screw up a corner and feel like you're going the wrong way, you get plenty of opportunities to kind of correct that movement. So overall, um, do I recommend the Mirai Fury LX as a racer? Yes, it's a fun ship to race, and I look forward to racing it some more. But as with any ship in Star Citizen, your money, your choice, and it will of course eventually be available to buy in-game with in-game currency. Um, just a reminder, you can absolutely play this game to its fullest with only your starting ship. Also, don't knock it on anything, otherwise it will stop working. <laughs> It's great to see you all. Thank you very much for tuning in and hopefully see you again soon. Bye bye. And you don't need to become one of those whales that spends thousands and thousands of dollars on ships. So let's get into it. That was my butt. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. This is... I'm not dead. I'm good. I'm still good. Um, nope. Um, did I lose something? Please let me respawn on the Carrick. Please let me respawn on the Carrick. Please let me respawn on the Carrick. Hey, I'm on the Carrick. Okay, one more. One more. Just one more. I feel like I'm getting the hang of this a little bit. Oh, 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 we fixed that. No, we didn't. Did we fix it? I think we broke ourselves. Are we good? Let's try again. Now we're broken. Now we're broken. You can't touch anything or you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, look at that. Look at that falling. That was, that was quite marvellous for science.